I'm Jessica with Gold Rush Expeditions. We get a lot of questions about what gold ore looks like, what you look for when you're going into your mines. Today, we're gonna to take a look at our personal rock collection of some gold ore that we've collected over the years so that you have a better idea what to look for in your mine. Our first sample that you look at here today, you might say, what is that? This has no real value. Well, you've got a lot of quartz up here, see? And then on the back of this quartz, you've got some of your older, uglier type of iron ore. This is the kind of stuff that you're gonna find in the California deserts and the Nevada deserts. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but all of this right here is going to have gold. Now, it's not gonna be very big chunks of gold. It's gonna be fine gold, but that's gonna be gold. This is gonna be our next sample. So this is, again, some of your desert type gold ore that you're gonna see. It's not big chunks of gold. It's smaller bits of gold. It's the kind of stuff that washes out. You might occasionally find nuggets, but this band of iron, is going to be your gold ore there. That's what you want, that's what you wanna take out right here and crush that down. This one we're starting to see some of the more sexy, the visual stuff, the kind of keys that you can tell just by looking that it's gold ore. Now this is also heavy. This little rock is probably, I guess, probably 12 pounds. It's pretty girthy, but you can see some of our colors. We've got this dark color here. And if you look in that, we've got some pyrite that's running through here. And then we've got some little flecks of gold that are running through as well. Now, when you see this out in the desert or out, you know where it's at, this is probably what it's gonna look like. Good example of what gold ore looks like. You need to break stuff like this out to get to the stuff that's there. It's always not gonna be exposed inside the mine. Sample four is from a little farther up north. Now this is not your, your typical desert ore. This is a lot more heavy metals and it runs right along with quartz. It's the kind of stuff you're gonna find in Montana this kind of stuff you're gonna find in Colorado. Really like their ores because they're easy to identify. So if you look here, you've got some banding that's running through the rock. That banding is actually quartz, and what's running with that quartz is pyrites again. You've got some gold, and you've also got some silver running through this. So you've got two of your four metals running in this. This is also a very heavy sample. This is probably a good six, seven pound rock right here, and you can see how big it is. This piece that you see looks very ugly, right? There's not a whole lot that you're seeing going on there. Anybody that has actually really mined gold, and I'm not talking about playing in a stream and picking out a nugget, but actually worked gold under the mountain and gotten real amounts of money, will tell you that gold ore is ugly. It is, the uglier it is, the better your gold content is gonna be. This rock is a perfect example. I'm switching hands because this rock is seriously heavy. It's probably, 20 pounds-ish. You look at it, you say, what is this? It's just a bunch of dark, bleh. I don't understand what that is. Well, if you look, you can see there is some banding. This is granite, actually, that's running a little bit underneath it. And you get a tiny little bit of quartz there. But if you look through it, this rock is loaded, like you can see on this side, with tiny little bits of gold, and again, some pyrites. Does anybody want to question again that pyrite and gold run together? Because look it up. Anybody that tells you that pyrite is worthless is just dumb and they don't know what they're talking about. All right, this is your mother load stuff that you love to find when you're out in the field. You've got your quartz running along and you have a nice band of minerals running along right between it. What's in this band of minerals? Well, let's take a look. Oh, look at that, there's gold in that band. Gold and quartz often will be right side by side with each other. So if you find a dark band of mineralization, which mineralization is going to be iron, copper, anything like that, that is running by quartz, you're gonna find gold with it, almost guaranteed. I won't make a 100% guarantee, but 99.99. .99. If you bring me a sample of something that looks like this and there's no gold in it, I will buy you a pitcher of beer. This piece is, again, typical of your ugly gold ore. It doesn't look very pretty. It's a bunch of dark colors, it's a bunch of red, and it's a bunch of gold. Imagine that, weird. Again, gold ore, when you find it in a gold mine, is going to be ugly. This is the good stuff. We don't want little nuggets, we want the big mother load gold. What else I'm seeing in here is I've got pyrites again, there's quartz in here, and oh look, there's big chunks of gold that are running in veins inside that quartz. That's the good stuff. This sample is typical of your four metals type of deposits. So in that gold ore, we're gonna find quite a few things. You can see this was part of a vein that ran down this way, but I've got some copper running up here. 
I've got some of their host rock, which looks like a limestone. I've got some more of the copper coming down, and then I've got gold that's coming in here. Again, your gold is your dark colors. The rusty and blackish color is ideal for gold. And if you can find some pyrites in that, you're probably gonna find some good veins and some good nuggets right in with that. If you don't find the pyrites, you're probably gonna have to crush it down to get your gold out of it, but that is going to be your rich gold ore. This is our final piece. This is, again, what is it? Ugly. It is, it's very ugly. And if you look at it just on the ground, you see, oh, it's just some crap rock. Well, it's not some crap rock. If you look at it a little closer, you'll see there's flecks of gold running all through it. Now, this was actually taken from down inside a mine when we were down in there doing some sampling on it. But there is gold shot through all of it. And what color is it? What color is it? Black! Yeah. But gold isn't black, is it? Oh, well, the rock that it's going to form in can often be black or a really dark red color. So when you're out, keep an eye out for this. Look carefully. If you have a loop, that's ideal. You can see some of the gold that's going through it. So there's some samples for you to kind of see what you're looking for when you're in your minds, when you're out and around. So enjoy. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information, visit our education center on our website, www.goldrushexpeditions.com, or give us a call, 385-218-2138. For Gold Rush Expeditions, I'm Jessica, and we'll see you on the next site.